it's Claire from Diamond Painting Nerd and welcome to another Kitting Down video. So this is probably the first time that you've seen a couple of things um, during my Kitting Down process. I don't film all of my um, Kitting Up and Kitting Down videos but um, this one I am going to film because I want to show you a couple of additions to my um, little process. Um, this is one that I purchased from Shein and I'm so so happy with how this one came out i was a bit concerned with it being a 30 by 40 there seemed to be a lot of detail um and it is one of those ones that the further back you look at it um the better it looks the closer you get to it it just looks very pixely but yeah the further away you go um so i absolutely loved how this one came out and this costs like three pounds something it was so cheap so I am going to go ahead and get this kitted down because then that will allow me to be able to kit up. So let's go ahead and get this kitted down. Now, the way that I work um, with my paintings, I work on numbers, which means that I need the DMC codes from the legend to be able to complete this. So let's move my notebook just just over there to the right. So I'm going to just work from pot number one. Now, there are 24 colours in this. So one, five, four. Um, I can already quickly see that I already have some 154. So let me just pop um, something and just to keep my box um, just a marker in for where I am, am at. And just do a quick colour check. If they are, if they're massively off, then um, I have been adding a second bag. And then what I've done is I've had a couple where they are hugely different. Um, and then I've waited to see if I've got that colour again. And I've had a couple where um, the colours come up again. And then when I've checked, it it's matches one of them and not the other. So I've assumed that which one is incorrect. So um, number one is done. So number two is 157. Now, according to this, I don't have 157. Um, yet so what I do have though is a blank bag so I have actually gone ahead and added um, the stickers to the bags I've only got one ready for the rounds but I have actually ordered some square um, DMC stickers so I can differentiate quite quickly between um, squares and rounds so I'm going to pop that in there now some of the squares that I've got in here already um, I have used the round stickers on because I've got two um, two sets of the, the sheets. But what I'm going to do is when my square ones arrive, I'm going to replace them um, with the round ones with the square ones. So 157 in rounds. I'm going to now give that a little tick um, so I know in my inventory I have those now. So number um, three is number 158. And again, it's saying I don't have any, but I should have a bag in here ready to put them in and I do so this just makes kitting down a lot quicker for um, any colours that I don't already have um, because I have the bag ready um, so I don't need to go adding a new bag into my box so that is colour number 158 so I'll give that a little tick uh, number 4208 so according to this I have 208 now, I believe that I've missed maybe one or two um, when I've gone ahead and updated my um, my little log sheet. So um, I'll just double check before. Oh, no, because when I go in, there'll be some in the bag and um, I can just update my sheet to correct it. So those are 208. There's a couple of different shades in that one, but I'm trying to... I'm trying to not split bags if they're very similar. So number four is done. Number five is 210. Again, it's saying that I have some of these. So let's take bag 210 out. This is number five. And they look probably a perfect match on those. I'll pop those in there. It's weird because the drills didn't start off. There were a couple of static packs, um, but the drills didn't start off massively staticky. And to be fair, as I've been working on them, they've not really been static. But for some reason, coming into my craft room to kit down, they've um, they've gone a little staticky. So I'm not too sure what that's about. But anyway, um, right number six is two two three. 
According to this, I don't have 223 currently, so there should be an empty bag in here, and there is. And then what I'll do off camera is I will go ahead and just shift some of my drills over in my box just to um, give these a little more space because there seems to be quite a few of the um, up to sort of 500. So I'm going to need a little more space in this left hand side. So that was number 223. So I'll give that um, a little tick. That was a bit of a wonky tick, but never mind. Okay, number seven is, oh, the Elusive 310. So I've actually got, those are squares. I've actually got a bag where I keep my 310s now, my overflow, because my bag of 310s um, in the in the section over here is already um, is already full so I'm just keeping an extra bag in the back for the three tens and I'll be doing the same for the three eight six fives as well because those are pretty full too um so that's that one done so then moving on we have a number uh number eight is that number seven yeah number eight is three 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 and it's saying I've got some of these so let's go to number Three, three, three. I'm just using tweezers to mark my space, but I'm going to end up poking a hole in the bag at this rate. So quite a few left over. It was quite strange, actually, because, again, this is another kit where the um, the amount of drills that are left over differed massively um, between the colours. Um, so, yeah, it was a bit odd how there were tons left over for um some of them and very few left over for others and it wasn't to do with the amount of those colors on the canvas either um so i'm not too sure how they figure it out sometimes but there we are so next one is three uh number nine is three four zero so according to my logbook i have three four zero and let's get those out let's pop those in and that looks to be a good match as well. So, yeah, I have upgraded my storage system because, as I said, I think um, looking at some of the videos, oops, some of the videos that I've edited recently, I've seen how um, that was, <laughs> that, was no, that box was never going to work for me long term. And I said I wanted to put them in a box with a lid, hence why um, I've pulled this box out. So, number... 10 is colour 550. Okay, so that's on the next. That's on the next sheet. So let's turn this over. So 550, um, it says that I have these. So five. Now the next thing that I want to do in here is add, just make sure I've got the rounds and not the squares, um, is add in a um dividers for um the 100s, 200s, 300s, etc. Um, because then it will just make it a little easier for me to find. But um, because this has just been a slow process for me um, putting this together, um, that will just be the final stage for me to um, be able to um, add those in. So that is number 10. Okay, moving on, 762. So we're going to jump to the 700s now. So seven, 762, it's saying I have some. 761, 762. Now, one thing that I have done is I have actually started putting resin drills in a separate bag as well. And the reason that I've done that, I've only got resin drills so far from um, the Diamond Dots kits that I've done. Well, kit and then my husband's done one. Um, but I've looked at the difference in the drills and you can tell the difference. Um, even on the rounds, you can tell the difference. So I have actually split out the resin drills. Now, um, the reason I've done that partly as well is because when, when it comes to kitting down my um, Diamond Art Club kits, because obviously they're resin drills, um, I think I'm going to keep the, all of the resin drills separate. Um, because yeah, you can tell the difference in the quality, like the cuts on the diamonds, um, it, are different and the color as well. The color between those two are different. Um, these bags should be the same size, but 
They seem to be a different size. Okay, I'm not sure what's happened there, but um, odd. Never mind. So we'll pop those in there. And that is number 11 done. Yeah, I seem to have some bigger bags on some of them. I don't know why. They've all come from the same place. Um, right, so 792. Nine, seven, so I have some of these. So 7... Uh, 792, that one. Pop my tweezers in as a marker. And these look to be a good colour match. Um, I was hoping that with the Shein kits that they um, would um, all come from, like the drills should all be very similar. Um, yeah, that's not, that's not the case. I think they've obviously got several different manufacturers of the of their paintings. Um, okay, and then number 13 is 796, seven, which is saying I've got some of those as well. Let's just pull that bag out. Fair few of these ones left. Okay, let's pop these in here. So yeah, it should be a fairly quick kitting down. As I said, there's only 24 colours. Then we have 797, seven, which again, we have some of those too they seem to be a good match also okay so seven nine seven now i don't have these are uh, five by seven centimeter bags um i don't have massive bags i don't want to keep a lot of spare drills um and also having them slightly smaller meant that i could actually get four rows across in this as well um so yeah that's what i've that's what i've done um so moving on we have um number 15 which is seven nine eight so again that's saying i have some of those seven nine eight and then, um, because I seem to be quite prolific at these 30 by 40 paintings, so I seem to be kitting up and kitting down um, every couple of days, I will um, probably end up with so many um, round drills that I will have to make the decision eventually to um, either get a second box or move the square drills out and put those in a second box anyway. So either way, that's probably going to have to happen at some stage, but not just yet. Then we have colour number 803, which I have some. 803, those ones. Let's just check the colour match on those. These are going quite well with the colour matches so far. Always makes me a little happier. As I said, unless it's drastically different, I'm chucking them in the same bag. And then um, only if it is massively different. And then I have chucked drills away. Um, where they are massively off, where I've had sort of more than three from different kits. So 820, um, I have some of those. This is crazy to think of how many paintings that I've done so far and um, that I've got this amount of spare drills already. So there was quite a lot left in this one. And a lot of static as well by the looks of things. Come on. Oh, he's on the outside of the, the packet. That's why he didn't want to come out. Okay, right. In you go. There you go, 8 to 20. Pop that back in there. And then that one is done. And then number 18 is 826 oops and then that one is overleaf so 826 i have some so let's pop to 826 and pull that bag out and see the color match on this uh might just be the lighting it looks close enough if it isn't identical so we'll see i think they're the same actually yeah, it was just a bit of the reflection on the bag that made it look slightly different. Okay, so 826. So here we are. And then number 19, 
we have number 838. This is saying we only have these in, we, I only have these in squares. So I should have an empty bag. And I do. So let's pop these ones in here. So 838. And I'm going to pop those back in the box. Yeah, this is why I'm going to need to move these over. So 838, we're going to give that a little tick in the round um, box because I now have logged that I've got those. So 20 is um, 842. So again, this is saying I don't have any, so I should have a spare bag in here for 842, and I do. So we'll pop those in there. And hopefully the static will calm down on these. 842, and get that in the box. And pop the lid back on that. So 842, we'll give a little tick. So I pop that in the rounds. And then we have um, number 21, which is 917. So it's saying I have some of these. So 917. Those look a similar match as well. those in with their friends yep there we go and then the last couple we've got 22 which is 995 so 995 is 995 saying we don't have any so let's have a little look we should have an empty bag in here 995 yep so this was a lovely blue colour. I love these. We can get them all in without them jumping back. <clears throat> Come on. Yeah, these are a bit jumpy, these ones, but they're all contained. They're all safely in their, in their little bag. Right, so 22, 23 is three three eight three four so let's just pop this over to the next page three eight um three eight three four it's saying that i don't have any currently so again there should be a an empty bag and there is so we'll pop these in this one We can give 3834 a little tick. Oops, putting that on the wrong end. That's not going to help, is it? And then the last one then is 24, which is 3836. So again, this is saying none. So we should again have an empty bag. No, see, this is what I mean. So I went through and actually ticked everything to say what I had, but um, I did think that I'd missed a couple um, because I couldn't actually see the little plastic um, zippy bag in the um in the box when i did it so yeah there might be one or two where it says i don't have them but i just need to update it with a tick so that was a slight different uh variation on the shade with those ones um but not enough for me to worry about putting it into another bag so we have now kitted down um the the pirate ship that's what i'm gonna call it reminds me of peter pan um, which is why i got it um so i've now kitted that down so i'm gonna go ahead and put this into my folio and my logbook has now been updated as i said if you're interested in seeing more of this there will be a more in-depth video um that will be coming up 
it's also listed live on Etsy. So if you are interested, then do head on over and go and take a look at um, the listing over on there. I've put it up for a very, very reasonable price. It's just a printable, um, but it does contain everything you need um, to be able to create. I think this is a very comprehensive logbook. So I'm very proud of what I've done to, um, to achieve this. And um, yeah, I think it's um, genius for me to be able to log all of my stuff and keep everything all in one place. Um, the benefit is as well, you can put them into a binder, um, into a, a, an A5 um, binder, or you can um, use the disc ring system um, and expand, put bigger ones on if you need to expand it. So anyway, enough about the logbook. Um, I hope you've enjoyed today's kitting down video. Thank you very much for joining me today. Um, as always, um, if you would, um, wouldn't mind giving the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. I'd love you to have you as part of my channel. Drop any comments down below and I'll see you all again next time.